Hello everybody, this is Henry's RF Crafts and RKs, and my mom's going to show you how to do needlepoint. Hello, I'm Brenda, I'm Henry's mom, and I'm going to show you how to do needlepoint. Okay, so we need certain things. We need needles. I prefer to use small scissors. You need the yarn. And... And you need the plastic squares. Okay? Now, what? as you can see, I've got several projects going on here. This is a completed project. And this is what one of the projects that I'm doing. But as you can see, I'm using a different border. Now, in order to do the stars on the flag here... I had to count, and so I also had to count first, before I started this, I had to count how far I wanted to go in on the um, this here border, which is a different kind of border than what a lot of people do, but you can do whichever kind you like. Now, as you see, I counted in, I got that border, I counted, I made sure I went around so that... This would be a full stripe, and this would be, I guess, about half stripe, right here. And I also did the same amount of lines on each one, all the way down, which is the reason why I ended up with a few extra blue down at the bottom, but I like that as for the base of the flag. I did the same thing here. I put a few lines at the bottom for the base of the flag, because I wanted the border to be the same all the way around. So since I had a few extra lines, I just set them down there in blue. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to start. I got this needle point going. And something I wanted to say before I started on something new was whenever you, I don't know, can you see it? Can you see it? All of these are going the same direction. Now, if I turned it to go the other direction, you could no you would notice it very well. You would see the uh, the different direction, and you notice. I don't know if you can see it very well, but these are going the same direction as well. Now, the stars are different because you're crisscrossing those to make the stars, and there are 50 there, as I counted to make sure. And before I put the star there. I found my spot that I was going to put this part on and then I counted and I made sure that the stars got put in there at a decent space. Now if you notice, I have a little bit too close right here, but you can't really go back that far once you've already got it in. It's in, so it's just going to be a little bit closer and that's okay. That's not a problem. Okay, so we'll go on to this one here. And I'm showing you mistakes I made so that if you do it, you can correct your mistakes. Now, here's one. Let me go ahead and do this one first. Mm -hmm. I made this. Uh, this is for the church that I go to. But anyway, uh, I made this triangle. This, uh, this part here was kind of difficult. I had, to, uh, I had to figure out how to make the, the, the yarn go in a diagonal, which was a little bit difficult on these two. But once I got it down, and you can experiment and work with your yarn and then if you don't like it take it out on up here I had it already but I didn't like it I took it out and I'm gonna redraw it and I actually haven't done that yet this here I liked what I did but there are still mistakes as you can see I wanted to point out the mistakes before I started any other project whenever I got all the letters in and then try to fill it in with the white every now and then there's some gaps now there's not any gaps here at the bottom but there's gaps around here so in order to take care of that I'm gonna put something white behind it so that if it gets hung up like this you're not gonna see it behind it so okay so now we're going to start another project so that you can see how this works um. my scissors out here and we're just going to start the project just so you can see how to do needlepoint 
Um, there are some people that are so good with needlepoint, they can, like, practically paint a picture. But I'm not that good with needlepoint. But I... Oh, look at there. Now, I want to show you this. This is a flaw in the plastic, and this happens every now and then. I'm going to have to poke through all those because there's not really a hole there, and that's okay. That's not a problem either, so let me get another needle out here. And I'll use the end of the needle because it's a little bit fatter. And basically, it looks like I flip it over here and go out this way. You just got to poke it through because it kind of, in the, um, whenever they were making it, it just ended up being a flaw. I just have to use this part. Kind of wanted to use the other end, but that's okay. It's not a problem. You just got to kind of poke it through before you start your project. And then... Okay. Oh, well, here's another one. They have one on both sides. Oh, goodness. This one, it's just had a... That's not as bad as the other side was. But it just needs to be, um, you know, holes because it's plastic. Okay. All right, so now... Oh, they got another one here, too. Wow, they got several little spots that aren't good. Where did we get Interesting. These? We got these. Well, actually, you can get these at about any hobby store, any kind of hobby store. There's several out there. Hmm. Um, you can get you can get a few things at Walmart, but Walmart doesn't have a very big selection. You can go to other hobby stores. I think Hobby Lobby, Michaels, those have all kinds of stuff. This one is a bear right here. That's really hard to get through that one. There's several on this one. I don't usually have this many um, spots on the plastic that have issues like this, so this is kind of unusual. But just poke through. You know, get, get, get it all out. That's fine. Once you get it, then you're, you're okay. But I'm just surprised that there's so many in this one. That's okay. All right, I think I got it. Yeah. Okay. So you start with okay. So first, you got to figure out what you're gonna do. And I'm not. I'm thinking what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to make kind of a Christmas scene with this one. This is something I've been wanting to do. And so you know what? Can you pause that for a minute? Okay. All right, so I went, we're back, and I, I went to go get a piece of paper and a pen because what I wasn't thinking about was I needed to draw what I want to put on here so that whenever I get it here, then um, I know where I'm going with it and I can do this. So this is just to get an idea of what you want to put on your, uh, or in your needlepoint picture. So what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to do kind of a Christmas scene. So I'm, I'm thinking I want to do, well, my pen's going to work, that I want to do like a tree. And so something like that. You know, and maybe, I, I don't know what I'll put on top, probably have a little yellow or something on top. But this is going to be like green here. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be the picture and I'm like I want that to be a little bit longer okay so this may be a little longer here and then that there kind of like that yeah that works okay all right and then maybe we'll have a few little presents down at the bottom you know something like that squares and then um we might put some, uh, I don't know, we might do something else on there. But we're going to start with that right now. Just so I can show you how to do a needlepoint. It's really my goal here. Is just showing you what is involved in it. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to 
take this piece of paper, which is the reason why I had to go and get it real quick, was because you want to do the scene, but you want to make sure that when you get here to, to put the yarn, you know where you're going. So right here, I'm going to put, let's see, how far do I want to go? You want to just kind of measure. You don't have to do anything. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to have a, let's see, now I'm going to go up like that for, and then I want to go diagonal for this part. Now the diagonal is a little bit more difficult with needlepoint. Get it to move. I probably should have taped it, but that's okay. You can tape it if you want to. So let's do this here. Okay. Now needlepoint is something that you can do if you like to just do little projects that just kind of take some time this is the kind of thing you want to do because it takes a long time to do and and as you saw with the uh, flag and the other I, I've been working on those for a while they're not done but you don't have to do them all the time you just do a few a day or you know a, like a line or two a day and then put it down and come back to it and so and that's that's what I've been doing. I just do a little bit here and a little bit there and I just don't I don't worry about if I don't get it done. It's okay. Because it takes a while. So it's one of those things you do and see. Now if you look, you can see that I have well let me turn the page over here so you, see. you can see on the that I actually have some markings on the plastic. So I know where my thread's gonna go. And that's what you can do. You can do a darker, you can get like a magic marker, um, like I did on the other one was black with the magic marker. You can do whatever. You can do a, a, a color if, I, if you want to do, hey, I'm going to do green here, so I'll put green on my, you know, I'll make my tree green. Okay, let me show you how I do the needle. I have nails, so I don't have to do like a, the, they have these needle threader things, but I don't use it. I just take my nail and poke it through. Now let's see. And then you just, well, it just didn't want to work today. Let me see if I can get it through this way. There we go. There we go. Now we got it in. And you don't use the whole yarn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of measure and see about how much yarn I might need because you don't want to have to, you want to use, oh well there's a piece and I was about to cut it off so that worked just fine. So I don't know where that came from but that's okay. You don't want to use the whole yarn because you're going to have to cut it and you need to pull it all the way through. So you have to, you have to cut it off of there. So. Now, since I already have my design, I'm going to take and I'm going to put it through here. Now, here's the key. You want to leave a piece hanging out at the back because you're going to take that and wrap that as you go and it will hold in like that from the other pieces of yarn that you have. So you want to keep it hanging out like that. And now I've got to figure out how do I want to make my line. And this time I'm going to go. Oh, that already see, and you got to hold that. That's the other thing. You got to hold that thing down because it'll get wrapped up. So I'm going to go up this way, which is a little different than I've been going. But again, it's your decision on which way you want to work your yarn. You don't have to do it the same way every time such as like on this one here I just went straight across and went and I just basically I just went right over each one which I will show you with the flag give me the that one yeah all right let me show you how I how I did it with that let me go ahead and pull that first one button it down okay 
So with this one, I am, I'm going, let's see, where am I at there? Like this, and I'm going across. If you see, if you can see, I'm going to go through this square and I'm going to go diagonally. So I'm going to go in here. Okay. And then I'm going to go diagonal. Okay. Now that's how I'm doing this particular design. Okay. Now on this one, because what I'm trying to do at the moment is I'm trying to make um, like the... Um, the tree stand. You can also do the tree stand in brown, but for the sake of showing you what I'm doing, I'm going to go ahead and just keep doing this. Now the tree stand isn't going to be that large, it's just going to be this little bit here. See, it's, it's time consuming. It's very time consuming, and that's okay, because you don't if you if you don't have if you need to have something to do just to pass the time away something that can be relaxing and now I'm gonna go diagonal because I want to work this away so I'm gonna go diagonal into this one and then I'm gonna work my way diagonal that way but as you can see this takes time to do and you have to have your pattern so you know what you're doing and and then you just keep going and I'm gonna keep going across like that and then I'm gonna figure out how to go up and that's the uh, that's another trick and again you don't have to do it's not it's not a rocket science and there's no specific way to do it it's just whatever you think is good for the way your design is what the, like the design for this, like the diagonal. I had to figure that out because when the first time I did it, I wasn't, it was it was all like going weird and stuff and I had to pull it all out. I think I pulled it out maybe four times before I finally got it to go up like I wanted it to. So really, a lot of this is experimenting. Um, it's, it's figuring out what kind of um, picture that you want to make and there are people like also for this I did the stars well I just crisscrossed I just went one way and then I went the other way and um, it's just it really is up to you how you put it into the little plastic holes and it also is up to you and what color you use because as you can see I have several colors of yarn and you know the colors of yarn are pretty limitless I mean there are so many colors of yarn and so depending on what kind of project you want to do what kind of picture you want to do will depend on what color of yarn you use and how you put it in so it really is up to you and again you just figure out what um, what you actually want to put on the plastic you draw it like I did you draw it first on paper just so you can have an idea of how you want to put it on there and then like if I'm if I was going to get really serious with my uh, thing here I would try to have a piece of paper that was actually the size of my plastic this was a little larger than I'm used to I'm used to the smaller ones and that's almost the size of the paper here so I wasn't expecting the plastic that I found because they had a very limited selection at the Walmart I went to um, I wasn't expecting it to be this large so I got here and I was like oh that's a lot bigger than I thought but that's okay again there are so many different ways and so many different things now I need to show you one thing that I've done um, let me see. Okay, I'll show you here. Okay, so whenever you're doing like I've done here, going back and forth like this with one color, okay? Uh, well, it doesn't really matter. I could have changed colors, but you don't want to pull out, like, like I said, I wouldn't do, 
I wouldn't do a really, really, really lot of yarn at one time. This is about your limit of yarn that you want to work with. And then you want to cut it and you want it. So what I did to, to get this line is I took my yarn and I measured it. So I went, okay, because you're going to have to go like this, so that's going to take up some of your yarn. So I put, okay, um, that's probably one way across. And so then I would pull it out and go, okay, that's two way across. Okay, that's three way across. And that's about as much yarn as you want to use. I might pull out just a little bit more and then cut it there. And then I use, I would use this yarn about that much. And then I will start going back and forth, okay? Now with this, to do this, when you go back and forth, you start like, here's, I'm, I'm at the end here. So I would start pulling my yarn through here and I would take the last piece of this yarn and I would leave that much out, just like I showed you, I left that out here on this side. And then whenever I started wrapping the yarn, I would take this yarn and I would hold it down. I would hold both pieces down at the same time as I'm going through. And then once I get to here, then I don't have to hold it down anymore. See, as you can see here, then you're done. See, and then you just keep going. And then you go, go, go until you get again to the end and you leave enough yarn out so that you can wrap that yarn in the next row. Okay, and that's how you get it like this, and then you don't have everything sticking out. I made the mistake, because I've been a, so long since I did it, I made the mistake of not doing that with the beginning here, and I knotted because I forgot. And now I've got these bumps here, and then I got to this one, and I went, Oh, yeah, that's what I was supposed to do. Well, I was not going to take out all of this and start over. So if you make a mistake like that, hey, if you make a mistake like that, it's okay. It means that you have a little bit of knots at the back, but that's not a big deal. It is a lot easier if it's flat, like this is flat. But it's okay. Go ahead and knot it and then do it the right way. And it looks just fine. You didn't notice it when I showed it to you on this side. The only thing that's going to be a problem is when I try to frame it, I'm going to have a little bit of bump. So I'm going to have to put something to make it a little thicker on the back to kind of, if you will, not have those sticking out. But that's okay. This one's for me anyway, and so I'm not giving that one away. And so it was okay. I, that's what that's the project I started when I started doing needlepoint again after 20 years. So anyway, and no, I'm not 20. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's how you get that. Um, okay, and I think that I'm finished. Okay, so if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. If you like this video, please push the like button. If you think a friend would like it, please share it with them. And also, Henry and I would like to do more craft items for you, show you more things. So please give us your suggestions. We will love to do something that you want to see. Thank you very much for watching.